Understanding, Expecting the Stork, a Guide to English Idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a charming idiom that's been used for generations, expecting the stork. This phrase might sound peculiar at first, but by the end of this video, you'll not only understand its meaning but also how to use it in conversation. So, let's get started. Expecting the stork is a euphemistic phrase used to indicate that someone is pregnant. The stork is a bird that, according to Western folklore, is associated with delivering babies to new parents. This idiom is part of a long tradition of using animal metaphors in the English language to discuss sensitive topics in a light-hearted way. The association between storks and babies can be traced back to various European myths and folklore. One popular theory suggests that it originated from the observation of storks nesting on rooftops in Europe, which was seen as a sign of domestic happiness and fertility. Over time, these stories evolved into the charming narrative of storks delivering babies to expectant parents, making expecting the stork a delightful way to announce a pregnancy. When using expecting the stork in conversation, it's typically done so with a sense of warmth and happiness. It's most appropriate in casual or informal settings. For example, you might hear someone say, my sister and her partner are expecting the stork in the spring. This conveys the news of a pregnancy without directly mentioning it, adding an element of whimsy to the announcement. While expecting the stork is recognized in many English-speaking countries, it's important to note that idioms and expressions can vary greatly across different cultures. Some cultures might not be familiar with the stork mythology, so the phrase could be met with confusion. However, in cultures where the stork story is well known, this idiom carries a shared sense of joy and anticipation for the new arrival. And that wraps up our exploration of the idiom, expecting the stork. We hope this video has not only expanded your understanding of English idioms but also shown you how language can reflect cultural stories and traditions. Remember, idioms like these add color and personality to our conversations, making language learning not just a task, but a journey through history and culture. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language in our next video. Happy learning!